Hello, this is Daniel Mart, and today I'm going to be doing another review. This time around, I'm going to be doing a review for Cabaret, the movie. Um, yeah, because I know it's based on a musical, Broadway musical, so I'm going to have to say the movie, uh, from 1972. Um, so yeah, this movie stars Liza Minnelli, uh, Michael York, um, Hel Helmut Grime, um, Green, Grime, um, Joel Gray, Fritz Wepper, Marissa Brenzen, and Elizabeth Newman v v Viratel, or v Vertel, um, I believe that's how you say the movie, Vertel, Viratel, um, whatever, um, aside from that, that's basically it for that ca the cast, and yeah, 10 second spoiler warning as usual for those who have yet to actually watch the movie and haven't already, um, stop the video, go check it out and come back and watch the rest of this review, 10 second spoiler warning as usual starting now. Okay, so 10 seconds are up, so for those who have yet to actually watch the movie and haven't, or haven't already, please don't comment down below or be messaging me that I never gave you a fair warning, because as usual, I did. So yeah, Cabaret, um, as usual, quick synopsis, likes and dislikes, and then the rate. So basically, uh, um, this movie takes place in the, um, basically, um, it takes place in the 40s, um, when the Nazi party is starting, there, it starts, it, yeah, it takes place in the 30s and 40s, when the Nazi party starts, um, taking control of Germany and all of Europe, basically, it's their rise. Um, base, and you have, yeah, um, um, you have this female club dancer, entertainer. I, I wouldn't say stripper. Um, I, I wouldn't exactly say stripper because she really didn't strip, um, to say the least. But um, um, I guess you could say entertainer, a, a dancer. Um, and basically, it follows her and her group of friends. Um. And how they're trying to cover up the fact that they're all gays, lesbians, bisexuals, etc. Yeah, and you have it's kind of a musical. Um, it's, I mean, it's kind of a musical, and that too. Again, it's based on the Broadway play. And yeah, um, first up, I will say that due to the time the time this was filmed and the year 1972, so it was probably filmed late 60s, early 70s. Um, I will have to give them credit for for them actually attacking such a taboo subject for the time because back then in the 70s you know um stuff like gays lesbians bi bisexuals and you know people didn't even know how to react to people who were that and it was a very taboo subject i mean just imagine if that like, transgenders were even around at the time or maybe p people probably did dress um like early transgender people probably dressed as the opposite sex maybe wore makeup which would make sense but um Whatever, I, so I did like how they kind of portrayed a realistic portrayal of that, I guess you could say. Um, how they kind of, and how they kind of tackled that, you know, you have um, Nazi parties. Um, you have the Nazi party in there, which does bring a certain angle to it. And yeah, and I actually didn't realize this at first, but this movie um, was nominated for Best Picture, and it won Best Director. Um, Bob, Bob Fozzi, Bob Fozzi, um, he won Best Director. And it was nominated for Best Picture in 1972. What other movie came out in 71 and nominated for a 72 award? The Godfather. This movie won against the fucking Godfather. Um, obviously, Godfather won. But interestingly enough, this movie beat out for Best Director. Um, you know, compare that to The Godfather with Francis Ford Coppola. So, interestingly enough. Um, so, yeah, off topic, but still. So, I, I, I will say there are a few things I like um, about it. I'm not gonna say. However, I really didn't. I didn't really enjoy the movie all that much. I mean, I will say I do give them credit, and I really do like. And I do like how they kind of tackled such a taboo issue at the time, and it was revolutionary to some extent in that um, promoting. I guess it's a proper. It's not really a proper word, but I guess um, not promoting, not advertising, but I guess showing, portraying gays, lesbians, um, bi's. Um, in a better light, because at the time, people thought that was just a mental condition and whatever. So, again, we really did like, I really did like how they kind of tackle these issues. Um, I'm not sure if the anybody from the cast is bisexual or gay, lesbian. I um, don't know about if the director is. I um, don't know anything about that. So, yeah. Now, I think after that, that's basically where my compliments for the movie drop. Yeah, that's basically where it is. 
I give them credit, and I do like how they kind of tackled such a taboo subject. But aside from that, uh, this this movie bores the living shit out of me. Oh my fucking gosh, how is this shit? Not, I could see it being okay. I, scratch it. I could see why it was nominated for best picture and best director. But holy fucking shit, was I bored out of my mind? Um. Yeah, I know it's based off the. I really, I, I kind of want to see the Broadway play. Um, the, the first version of the Broadway play, because I know they kind of reboot every play after, like, five or six years. Um, but holy shit, was I bored up. The, the singing, the music, it's a, it's a musical. Uh, the singing, it's, the music, oh my, the singing was annoying. You have, like, this, you have this guy who kind of looks like, um, the fucking Joker. I mean, he doesn't have the green hair and the purple tuxedo, but he kind of looks like, he has that Joker face. Um... And he, he has such an annoying voice. Um, it was just annoying. He only ever came up with this for the singing time or for the uh, musical parts of it. Um, he, yeah, the singing, in my, in my opinion, was just terrible and annoying, in my opinion. The acting was, like, in my opinion, the, there was just a shit ton of overacting. I mean, I know Michael York. He's a pretty good actor. I don't know much of his work. Um, I think I've seen, like, one, maybe two other movies of his. Um... I mean, I know he, he's in the Austin Powers movies. Um, I actually haven't seen any of those movies, the, any of the Austin Powers movies. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I, uh, but aside from that, I mean, I know um, he's done a few other things aside from this in the Austin Powers movies. I mean, I mean, here, I'm trying to think, what what's that? I'm trying to think what other movies he's done um, that I've probably seen. Um, Knights of Camelot was he in that movie? I, I, yeah, I think he was. Um, and what is it? Knights of Camelot. Goodbye. Oh, Goodbye America. America. He was in that movie. Uh, we can't really. A line verb. I, I think he was in. I'm not sure. Um, haven't I haven't seen that movie completely through, but I think he's in that movie, and. Yeah, I mean, I, I, yeah, so, I mean, Michael York, again, I, from what I've seen from him, I like him, from the very few things I've seen from him, I like him, but I don't, I don't think he really does that great in this movie, I mean, I think everybody in this movie just kind of overacts, over, there's a lot of overacting, even with their expressions, they're always like, ah, they're, you know, they're, they're, they're overacting, whether it be with, you know, their voices or their body language, over, in my opinion, overacting. Um, also, the, the dialogue, the script was pretty bland, in my opinion. It was, it was pretty bland. I mean, the, um, aside from the facts when they tackled the actual taboo issue of gays and all that, aside from when they're attacking the taboo issue, in my opinion, it's just a pretty bland film. And I was, um, and I really wanted to fall asleep, if not for the fact that they were actually attacking the taboo issues, which is maybe the only thing that kept me awake, aside from the annoying as fuck singing from that one guy from Joker lookalike, um, aside from that, because he had, like, an ear-piercing, it's not, it's, he had an ear-piercing voice, um, that's the thing, so, yeah, I mean, o overall, really bland movie, I mean, if not for the taboo issues, I'd, I'd really be questioning why it was nominated for Best Director and Best, and Best Picture Award, um, so yeah, on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best, 10 being the best, and 6 being decent, I have to give this film a 3 out of 10, it's really mediocre in my opinion, really bad, um, really, really bad, I mean, I do like the imagery, um, at times, I really do like how stuff, or some things were shot at times, but again, a few fancy shots isn't gonna help it, um, so yeah. And yeah, that's basically it for this review. Um, like the video, share on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, or whatever you guys prefer. Aside from that, um, aside from that, subscribe. I do movie reviews, TV show reviews, and comic book reviews. And yeah, that's basically it for now. This is Daniel Mart signing off.